Oh, welcome back. This is a pickup. Uh, I've done a big one this time. Big pickup, that is. Because um, I haven't done one for a while. I've recently went up to London, so I was able to raid new CEX shops for the games. Um, just let you know, the Smash Brothers clone video is done. First one failed. Be I don't know why it didn't record it properly. But Link won that one. So the second video, which is a little more interesting, considering the DDD fight was absolutely boring on the first one. It's a bit better. And the second one I am now doing now. Um, I'll put up the video of the CGX that I went to. It wasn't that good. It really wasn't. Um, saw I think within an hour and a half. But I did recall some little bits. So I'll put them up as well. Hopefully you should find it interesting. But it really wasn't this year. Anyway moving on to the pickups like I said. Got a cheap magazine. This came with a bunch of Nintendo videos. Which I will be putting on there obviously. And that was with it. Um, I got two other magazines. They're in the front room. I just couldn't be bothered to go and get them. And again, non-gaming stuff, Star Trek Beyond in 3D, charity shop. Um, this is the last one, I think, and to, well, the last one for now. I think there is a new one out, 150 this cost. Uh, it's in 3D, so you've got your standard Star Trek and your 3D Star Trek. I think that's, yeah, that's the 3D version. So, yeah, I do like my Star Treks and my Star Wars. Fast X, that's uh, a slip cover, exactly the same. Sometimes slip covers are different, but um, got that in Sainsbury's. I think that was 11 quid. So that seems to be about right now for Blu rays, I think. Double Spider Man, I've already got the multiverse, but this is a double pack, so instead of having two separate ones, I've got them all in one, so I can get rid of the other one. As you can see, CEX prices at 15 or pay 15 for just the new one, so might as well get them both. They do come separate. Let's take the receipt out. There you go, so they are separate. I mean, they're Blu rays, I don't know why they can't shove both of them on one disc. So if it looks a bit weird, I've got me light in here because there's not much light in natural lighting coming through. Hitman for 150. So yes, as you know, I'm trying to get all game-related movies, even if they're bad. That brings up the next one. You might know that already. Um, special features got quite a lot of special features on there, but for 150, that's not bad. Um, I will try and get the second one if and when I find it. Reason why I say that's not bad because this one is. Saw it on film for Assassin's Creed and I didn't really think much of it, unfortunately. Oh, this one isn't for Reynolds, eh? Cool. So, yeah. You've got your yeah, standard there. I don't think this is the proper case for it because it says on there. Um, Blu-ray and digital download. Well, there's no stuff on there to say digital download, you know, codes or anything, unless they've got rid of that now. But yeah, you got special features and all that. Resident Evil Dead Island. I think that is Dead Island. Still sealed. I will get around. This is the third one of the trilogy. I think it was in the last pickup video I talked about it. Unfortunately, still got the safety, so you can't see much of the back. But yeah, I do believe this is the third one. Obviously, you've got Jill on the front, Leon, Chris, Claire, and Rebecca. So they all make a comeback. And I've had to get it, and it's not too bad, actually. Super Mario. Yeah. Uh, apparently, this has 55 minutes of bonus features is it the same on the back it is the same no yes it is the same slip cover as the slip cover sorry um, ending 
I'm not going to spoil what happens, but after credits there is stuff. And if you've seen the rubbish Godzilla one, you know what I mean. So that's that. I've had a generous donation from my friend. DVD Force. Now I've only seen one of these on eBay and they wanted 40 quid for it. So to get a generous donation from my friend where there's more than one, it's very much appreciated. So I've got that one. That's That was number three by the way with F1. This is number... I cannot see the number on this one. But it's got Super Mario Sunshine at. So yeah, on to the GameCube era. And yes, me, me mate saw... Oh, it's got on the inside. It's number five. Me mate was go chuck them out. But he saw uh, I do these and knew I would appreciate them. So he gave me those. Like I say... Very generous donation. Turok. Evolution though. That's disc number. I don't know. Again I'm going to have to open it up. And that's number six. I'll be getting up to the one soon. On what's on eBay. I mean no disc is worth demo discs. Well they're not even demos. They're videos. Um, none of them are worth 40 quid. So what they think they're going to get for it. Right, Star Fox Adventures on this one. So yeah, we're well on into the GameCube era. And that's number seven. Yes, it's upside down. But yeah, number seven. Uh, Legend of Zelda. So now, obviously, putting the action replay. So you might get all those little videos in between, which you're probably bored of, but... I can't help it. And yeah, I play them, so those who haven't. Exclusive. There you go, out the back. Exclusive Japanese play. <laughs> yeah, when it was first out. Um, number eight. And you've got bits from Resident Evil Zero in there. Metroid Prime. And then Pokemon on the back. And plus box office stuff. So they're showing trailers that's pretty good when they do that as well and that is number nine so got up to nine at least uh, this is the one that they want 40 quid for on ebay because it's the only one on ebay and it's in a, a plus um glass plastic glass case it's plastic but i don't know what type of plastic I know it's weird what I'm talking about. Anyway, number 10. But not your standard DVD ones. There you go. That's sum it up. Also, um, includes Peter Jackson's King Kong. This is a Ubisoft one. Um, telling you all the latest games they're bringing out on the PlayStation, GameCube, Xbox, PC, and DS. So it's there what's happening now once i've got some already but not this one and yes they've gone through the effort making the inside all nice so yep we'll get that up eventually i don't know when this is for 2005 so we're getting quite up in the year right i managed to get some more gamecube well they're just called cube dvds so this is number 35 i think i've shown ones higher in this so this would be up pretty soon and spider-man on the front i do believe it's yeah no i've got two discs one of them is just the one disc so yeah you've got your cheats for harry potter and stuff but it's the videos i'm all interested in so you've got cube sticking with cube it's a Resident Evil on the front and an interview on the video. And this, I do believe this is one. Yeah, that's just the video, no other disc. They even said that so they weren't trying to try anything. Act, they're all the same action replay on the back. Oh, sorry, that was just bend down again. 41. 
again I think I've done up to 45 or something so there'll be a couple of Nintendo ones up and coming this one is number 45 I obviously didn't do 45 and this is Zelda and the bear from Bow Selector if anyone remembers that and just video on that I think this is when they just started doing videos gave up on the cheats because no one probably used them and the WE1 I've done a WE1 when they done an interview with the big show but this is a GameCube 1 or oh, the other one was as well you've got Stacy Keenler and Undertaker on there uh, Batista Triple H and John Cena and a, a scared Booker T by the looks of it I don't know how well this is coming out because this is on my JVC camera I don't normally use this one but it's what I used at the gaming convention um, exclusive DVD apparently in game footage of King Kong and this one is number 50 did I mention what this one was 46 and now number 50 I have got the ones in between so not missing anything King Kong uh, Catcom one the classic ending it's all in Japanese I don't know what it says on the back I know it says it's color uh, approximately and what's that 110 minutes uh, 4 by 3 region 2 which we can play but beyond that on the back I don't know if the lights allowing you to see that but yeah let's change the light setting and see if that's any better no doesn't appear to be but yeah got that um, I don't care if it's in Japanese uh, I like watching those stuff but you get a nice little book with it which goes through the fighting styles of people so it's going to be basically a fighting disc and little bits like that and posters uh, obviously rival schools was good I did enjoy that I do believe I have the second one not the first one I'm not sure but yet yeah, I'm going to be ordering more things like this um, there's a magazine in Japan called Famitsu I think I said that right and they done DVDs so I will be getting these but they take a long time to come it's anywhere between 20 to 30 days from Japan but hey oh I'm in no rush got that one sorry for keep bending down all down here I managed to get a Guilty Gear one again all in Japanese so I'm not going to understand what they go say but it's a double disc all the fighting and strategy I assume again they're all region 2 because Japanese are region 2 they feel the need to write out there in colour uh, stereo and again 4x3 which a lot of stuff was then um, first time I've looked at this manual it's just one page and a lot of I assume credits at the back and there's it says DVD that I can that's in English I assume that's features so there might be some bonus stuff so yeah we'll give it all a go or I will so um, if you're not into watching this I do apologize but for those who are I hope you do enjoy because I've gone ahead and bought more. I've got Virtual Fighter. Um, let's start with this one again. They all write it all out. I don't. I don't know what it says. I do apologise for not able to read it. I am ignorant. I know it's Virtual Fighter Evolved. Um, so, what's that? Saturn, uh, PlayStation Two. I don't know. Again, double disc. And let's have a look at the little piece of paper again it's just one bit 10 year disc one is something disc two is something else I do I do apologize for not able to understand it but yep that's all the 
stuff there and I do believe that's the second one this one I do believe is the first one and again got all the stuff on the back I do believe this is one disc yeah because it's a lot lighter so yep yeah, one disc for that I say it's gonna be different I try to do stuff different for this show right on to the ones that I'm very glad I got I've now been able to get hold of through a lot of searching disc one of the what is it PSM 2 and compatible with PlayStation 2 uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the other video but these ones seem to be only compatible with the PS fat um, the slim one couldn't play it properly and the PS3 can't play it fat um, properly but the PS2 fat can so they got Gran Turismo on here the real driving sim uh, over 17 minutes of PS2 demos on the front so yeah that one cost me a fair bit for just that it's 10 quid I mean you know I normally don't play that but it's the only one I've ever seen so I've got that and then I also paid a bit more for number two um, that was 15 unfortunately so yeah bit pricey this month but got number two now so again these will be up very soon inside's always boring but yep yeah, I now have one and two I also managed to get number three and they sent in a nice bit of plastic for this so this one has Gran Turismo 3 uh, no GT3 yeah Gran Turismo and Metal Gear Solid 2 and Star Wars on the front with Bloody Raw and other exclusives and Star Wars on the back so yeah number three jump to number five apparently there's some 3D ones in here for MTV Music Generator 2 it says on the back here and so I don't know if the 3D will come through being recorded on to and then put on YouTube but if you've got 3D glasses give it a go it's no harm jump to number seven for Final Fantasy Spirits Within um, I did put up one it had a I think it was a fair bit of the trailer and YouTube said no you can't put that on so unfortunately that got blocked same when I put up the matrix one there was a cartoon on there at YouTube said no you can't show that so unfortunately both those good little add-ons you have to either find yourself or someone else who can transfer it to you but yeah number seven of PSM um, number nine spy hunter on the when I first saw that, I thought that was the Yakuza missions reckless but no spy hunter and this is number nine so we're st still going to be stuck in the year 2001 for a little bit more unfortunately and I've got some cheap ones uh, 200 no sorry 132 um, for Tekken Batman and Medal of Honor and um, so thank you very much for making Tekken 2 and 3 a very highly watched video um, when I play Tekken 5 I will cheat and add all the characters in so you can see the whole lot save me going through um, it also unlocks all the movies so I'll put that on instead of maybe using Tekken 7 movies so that would be that like I say I can't be bothered to unlock all the characters I always do character unlocks on Tekken's next one is 136 you have spider-man the what's that the suffering begins or beyond I don't know. and then Tony Hawk's so yeah more cheats so these sometimes do have little videos as well like the sales when they're selling the scooters and all that but yeah got that one as well oh and this is what makes me made it as a youtuber I forgot about this one 
it wasn't in here or it wasn't in the description of it but play season two someone bunged a play disc skin so you know you've made it as a youtuber when you get freebies so yes and that reminds me of something i haven't shown yet so let's move all these and it all come clear why i got this this big beast uh 300 it can hold four basically dvds like that so all the loose dvds i can now bung in this big chest and i know where they all are um same with some loose copies of games i've got them so yeah it uh all go in there and it'll all be handy and nearby hopefully um, just move the amiibos like I said just had that Clone Wars battle and moving on to the next stuff this is another reason why uh, cheats and videos someone's selling a big bunch of these uh, that's a Mario Golf video Metal Gear on that and looks like Killer 7 for the GameCube and then that's uh, Splinter Cell and the cheats are for Enter the Matrix so I've got some more of those like I say they're all loose so they're going that box along with even more picked up uh, that one's got a video it keeps falling out that's the cheap one well no that's video that's the cheap one that keeps falling out because it's not got the other end for it and I have a WarioWare sorry if I'm starting shouting I just got out a Resident Evil 4 uh, oh the same one so I can probably put that elsewhere Prince of Persia and Pokemon and some of these are cube ones towards the end Pikmin I think is that one already on there or is that Pikmin cheats nope so Pikmin Mario Kart Double Dash and Pikmin so GameCube era if you're not that familiar Rogue Squadron 2 uh, again another Star Wars one with Rogue Squadron Metal Gear Twin Snakes the best version of Metal Gear Solid uh, obviously the others was on PlayStation GameCube and these are cubes these are is that Mario Party and this one is a E3 2003 so got those discs all need sorting out eventually it's bung them there um, just quickly going off the subject for those who paid attention uh, to the Abibo video I showed quickly Daisy um, is caught using that's why she went in the Clone Wars uh, Yoshi has Mario Party 10 data and Zero Suit Samus is using so they weren't in the Amiibo um, ones um, just as well I'd done a second video because the last one was filled up Link won it um, and Zelda wasn't able to be in it the second one because now Link's gone through Zelda was in it but I'm not going to tell you who wins that one right slowly getting there getting there to the games oh let's do these ones before i get to those ones i now need to get number three of the video game years i now um sorry number two now have number three and that's 1983 to 85 so yeah just when i get there. and of course they have um the screw tack people um no, sorry, Game Sack, which I like watching Game Sack. And also they have um, Game Chasers people on there. So I've got that one. Um, 1986 to 87 on that one. Uh, by looks at you've got 
James on the back from the Angry Game Nerd. So we've got that one. That's the back of that one. And number three. Like I say, I need to get number two because I've got number five, which is the final one. And that's 88 to 89. It's only a year for that one. And again, that's got all the people you should mostly know on it. So yeah, got those. Let's put them there. I got Laura Croft locked and loaded. So there's a hour almost of stuff. I think there's different covers to this. I still need to get Laura Croft Legend um, thing, but people want like 30 quid for that and 40 quid. I'm not paying for that. Nothing fancy on the inside, just your basic stuff. Right, I got PS. W number 105 with Darth Vader on the front. So these are the much later ones. These are all your PS3 ones now. Metal Gear Solid 4, which is 88 on your PSW, which I do like. Oh, exclusive Devil May Cry 4. Play Season 29. I don't know why they call them seasons. It's two hours apparently, so go get good stuff out of that. PSM3. And again, Metal Gear on the front. Number 81, apparently, on that one. Xbox Vision with Batman Arkham City. The only thing what I find annoying is when you get from eBay's they put barcodes on them. Peeling them off is a nightmare. Try not to ruin the cardboard. And this is issue 72. That's your Xbox. All new footage for Halo 4. If you haven't seen it. With Remember Me on the back. What's the card game? I don't know. It's bound to be a Forza in it being Xbox. Dead Space 2. I love Dead Space 2. I've put up a Dead Space 1 video. I've got to get back to playing that. And Fear, Mortal Kombat and Shadow of the Dam behind. Uh, Fear 3 was terrible. I only like Fear and Fear Files. 2 was playable. That's Xbox World. Xbox TV World with Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, Resistance Rising brain so they got that and this one i don't know much of it they said promo on it so i don't know how much i can play or what it's crisis free dvd from japan so i don't know how much i can play of it if it's just videos or what so yeah give that a go jam with the band band got a charity shop it's a foreign game um, all the stuff on the back, I don't know if it's coming through clear, is all in foreign. So I assume it still will play on my DS, but it's just not going to be English songs, which doesn't bother me. Music's music. And once you know the tune, you know the song anyway. So yeah, a DS game. Don't have many of them now I want. Right, moving on to the games, which is the main part. I bought... Resident Evil 5 from CX, 2 quid. Obviously, that's your slick cover. I got Resident Evil 5 anyway, but with this one, it's the making of DVD. So, again, I don't know if you can see that with a poor light. Let's try another light as well. Oh, if I can just reach it. That's probably not going to make any difference, but yeah. So, there's your tinned one. But like I say, for two quid, I don't mind paying that for the making of because I've tried looking on eBay and that's like 10 quid. So I'm not paying 10 quid for a making of DVD. So that's all go balance there or it's go four, one and two. Right, reach down for this pile. I've got Xbox One games, Tack on Titan. So yeah, I don't know... 
I know it's an anime, I know that much, but I don't know what the gameplay is like. And I've only ever seen episode one. So I really am way behind on all my anime and knowing what's going on. So I know there's a second one, but for the price, 10 quid CX, I haven't seen the second one fairly cheap. Um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wasteland. I don't know if this is the bad one or not, but yeah, got that. Um, it's yeah, all the book and everything's in there. But for four quid, that's not too bad. I hope probably cheaper elsewhere. Um, this. Was that the Sind? Something. I have no idea what this game is, but it was two quid. By the looks of it, you go around attacking, shooting robots. So I have no idea what that's about. So I'll give that a go. Uh, WRC Generation. Um, I bought this one basically before EA start ruining the WRC games. So there's not much to this, no instructions or anything. The game is obviously in the Xbox. But yeah, you got 22 races, 150 stages, 70 teams. So yeah, you've got a fair bit in there. That's 15 quid. Another racing rally one for 6 quid. Again, like I say, I'll try and get some car racing games. I don't have many of them. This one at least comes with instructions that um, and when I bought this it was on offer at the same day I bought this for five quid on the store so I could have saved a pound but I've got it physically the life of P I still ain't unwrapped this um, as far as I know you play as um, Geppetto's uh, puppet so Pinocchio and I think you have choices of what you can do, but yeah, I haven't undone that. I thought this was only an Xbox Series X um, exclusive, but lucky enough, it's on Xbox One. So I will be playing that eventually. Something, I can't read that. Hotel, something to do with the hotel. So it's a scary horror game. You know me reading is not fantastic, so I do apologise. And yeah, 8 quid. So I don't know if it's like that one where you go around with a camera and you've got to just survive. I have no idea. But yeah, again, not bad. 8 quid for a, a game that I might or may not enjoy. Right, uh, what ones? Let's do PlayStation 2. So you've got PlayStation 2 games now. Supercar in. Uh, I think it's exactly the same which is on the Wii. So 150 CX, uh, no instructions, just a game. I think he said it was quite well. It was scratched. I think this one. Yeah, still a little bit, not too bad. He did disc clean it the best he could. So yeah, 150 for that. When I get round to ever playing these ones, I don't know, but I do buy them on the chance that I do get around to playing them. Right, put that down there. Crashed. Um, it looks alright on the back. It looks like a destruction derby. Um, so yeah, that was only 150. Quite heavy, so yeah, the manual's quite thick on that. But yeah, but it's it. Destruction derby, I don't know if there's races. But yeah, give that a go. G slide floor, slide floor. It's a wipeout clone and apparently not very good. So that's why it was a pound. Two player, so I don't mind that, but no one ever comes here and plays. Um, no manual, just the game. So yeah, got that one. X Squad uh, by EA, I think, yeah. Apparently not very good again. I, I have a habit of buying bad titles. Um, so, yeah. I Oh, two quid charity shop. There you go. 
so I do believe it's the cancer research yeah so I don't mind helping out charity shops go in there and uh, probably never get played unfortunately hidden invasion for a quid uh, it's a how can I like streets of rage beat them up um, no streets of rage is left right what could I some, there was a false game like this and it was meant to be the streets of rage anyway you go around beating I think you can shoot people it is a two player male and female character and it's going to bug me not knowing what that other game is but yeah Hidden Invasion apparently again not that great but I'll give it a go Robo Invasion a lot of invasions uh, this is a uh, first person I've seen shoot it but it looks on the back third person so just the game on that two, fifth, uh, two quid sorry so it can't be that good if it's two quid but you know me I buy any old rubbish sometimes one that isn't rubbish um, hopefully don't need the gun time crisis free I have no instructions on this but yeah, hopefully I don't need the gun. I can move the cursor around. That's what they used to be done. Oh, it's meant to be sold with it, not to be sold separate. So I don't know if this came with a console or what. But yeah, Crisis 3. Um, one was good, two was okay. I never completed three because I didn't have that much money in the arcade to complete it. But there you go. And Code Veronica X for the... PlayStation 2. I've got Co Veronica, but dragging me Dreamcast out or downstairs, it's going to be awkward. So I thought I'll buy X because it's only a fiver. Uh, Devil May Cry exclusive stuff. And yeah, nice and thick. It's part of the. Oh, it doesn't say it there, but they've put the platinum one in. And there's your thick manual. Oh, and Devil May Cry stuff. So there you go. That's why it's so heavy. So I've got that. And again, I never completed it. Um, I was up to Chris trying to take on the, the woman in it and just couldn't do it. And the most expensive one I've bought all year, actually, uh, and I never knew it existed on the console. I knew you could get it for arcade on the PlayStation 3, which you can't now. They've taken that off the arcade. GTI Club, yes, 62 quid. I never even knew this existed for the Wii. Um, but it looks like you've got mini games on it as well, so like football. and So there you go, before Rocket League, you could play that. And it's, it's an arcade game, so it's going to be short. But yeah, uh, never seen it in Somerset at all. So that's one of these games I had to go out. And find um, which I will eventually do a video of games that are hard in Sunset um, but easier to find everywhere if I can find other youtubers or if you can put in games that you found other places but not anywhere local because my local is Western and Bridgewater which is 10 miles from where I am so that's my radius of game searching but obviously found this up London so I snatched it up before I lost it um, there's all the other games but a nice thick manual so yeah if there's games that you can't find locally but elsewhere you can like I said I'll do a video of that soon right the last lot of games oh, just get them here right I managed to the first two videos I've put up but that was Xbox 360 so I now finally got it for the PlayStation 3 again only found out London never down here Transformers The War for Cybertron I've got the second one for the PlayStation so I will carry on I'll watch the where I ended it on the Xbox one and I'll carry it on on PlayStation unfortunately yeah it's a bit expensive at 35 quid but I say when you don't see it you snatch it up and grab it so play that Wipeout HD Fusion. So apparently, it uh, on the PlayStation 2 version of this, 
it can corrupt your memory card apparently it will literally make all your games on that memory card that saves unplayable so yeah get PlayStation 3 version if you don't want to take that risk of getting the PlayStation 2 version got all the stuff in there and not a boring cover they've actually added some stuff to it has got a bit of damage but I can replace that I'll just buy a, a FIFA game for a pound and replace the cover yet yeah, 15 quid for that one right I didn't know they had done one for the PlayStation 3 a lot of stuff I've been missing out on uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 re HD re yeah, remastered so it's going to look a lot better so instead of playing the PlayStation 2 versions I'll play the PlayStation um, it's got some bonus extra bonuses on here includes Final Fantasy uh, ah the stuff for lightning there you go but yeah I didn't know they'd done one for the PlayStation 3 so I'll rather play that one compared to the PlayStation 2 well disc fell out so yeah I assume it's all on one disc then that's pretty cool I'll have a look through the manual later oh it's a bit wonky sort that out but yeah I don't know if those are the same pictures on the back of the PlayStation 2 ones uh, let's get a bit closer there we go right the last lot and they're all for switch I got Tycho Drum Master the I do believe this is the RPG version of it because there's another one um, on this one you get a free Yoshi track if you go into the store and again I'm no good at these but I do like them uh, 30 well all but 1p 40 quid um, they did have it imported I think they said no just as new for the switch so yeah this shop does do imports but it was under the import section uh, Metal Max so again I don't know much about this I saw the trailers by looks like you get tanks and different lots uh, you got a little may not be able to see it there a dog with a gun on him on the back there's a big giant shark going in the sand and loads of other different tanks there's the shark again I apologize for the quality but me uh, DJI does tend to overheat sometimes they put a nice bit there so that's all good we love Katamari uh, still sealed so I haven't put this in yet it's like all the others you just roll up stuff get a bigger ball bigger ball and then you start getting galaxies and worlds and everything it's a basically a cleanup simulator you just roll this ball get all the stuff and then he turns it into planets um, I never are really good at these I complete them but I feel like I could have always done more I go back and play them and I just do exactly the same I can't seem to get any better but I do enjoy them right got Raiden what's that four twenty eight quid Oh, the Katamari, I don't know how much that was, that was from Game. So yeah, got this one. Uh, so yeah, you go around shooting. I'm not very good. And I find that there's not enough continues for me. But yeah, Raiden 4. I do want to get 5 and I think there's 3 on the Switch. So yeah, you've got your yeah, good insights chuck that out so yep man eater uh, eat explore evolve you are the shark apparently um, I know there is DLC at least for the Xbox version no DLC for the switch version which is unfortunate so yeah 28 quid CX uh, Boring inside, nothing on the inside of that one. 
And the final one for 38 quid, another spaceship game. Yes, I got a decent inside. This one's either go play like um, Axley or Super Less. Um, reason why I say that, Axley I cannot complete. So if it's a spaceship game I cannot complete, it's Axley. If it's a spaceship game I can complete, it's Super Less. But yeah, you got your side scrolling on this one. And apparently this is the last game for the DS, uh, 3DS. So if you can get it for the DS, good. I obviously haven't seen it and I've got the Switch version. But apart from the Amiibo coin, which is King K Rule, that is the whole lot. Um, I don't know when the next pickup video is going to be sorry it's taken so long and I am very thirsty now that is literally yeah that's the whole lot okay so thank you for watching sorry to bored you and that's it time to switch it off okay oh where's the button new camera okay bye